guten Tag to War Thunder with Lutsch Dalhagel. In this video I take up my P-51 D5 in the event Fight of Swallows. In this event you have to protect your B-17 formation from getting shut down by the enemy ME-262 fighters, the Swallows. This mission can be very easily a piece of cake or your worst nightmare on your War Thunder day, despite um, how the enemy is using its tactics. If they are using a high speed attack and running away, turning around and doing the same again tactic, like a rope dope tactic, you won't be able to follow them, catch up and destroy them. So this would be a nightmare scenario. If the enemy 262 pilots are focusing more on the fighter escorts, the P-51s, um, it may happen that they will fail their mission objective and the mission is lost for them, uh, making it the win for us. For what I know, this mission or this scenario is pretty accurate. The first encounter of uh, ME 262 and the P 51 happened on the 8th November of 1944. And as you can see, the ground is pretty snowy and it's winter time. I think the developers really wanted to remodel or rebuild this scenario of the first encounter of P 51s and the ME 262s. But now back to the gameplay. If I start to do a history lesson here, <laughs> I will not be able to do my best on the gameplay here and will not be a great help for my team. So let's focus on the gameplay. I already can see two dots down there and yeah, they are the first two ME262s. I think I build up enough speed to zoom up here and flip over and come down on top of them to eventually match their speed and can pursue them for a little bit. Let's focus on the guy that's not burning already and got him! Okay, the ME-262s are really easily to set on fire due to their big fuel tanks and the jet engines. Okay, first kill, I guess, for us of the game. Yeah, there it is loop around and pick up some speed again to focus on the second wave of the enemy 262s. Uh, there's the second wave incoming. They're coming pretty fast. As you can see they are really trying to do the first scenario. They're trying to really come in at high speeds attack two or three bombers and then escape with their high-speed attack. But this 262 got set on fire already. Like I said before, very easily to set on fire. And maybe I can catch up with Sideshow 70. Ah, oh, he got set on fire and the wing got ripped off. Looks good. Looks like we encountered the second wave very well. I will regain some altitude here because I picked up some speed at the shallow dive before and turn around to stay at the poke of B-17s. I think these two 262s have turned around, yeah, they are going for their next attack. Shaxi above there is trying, I guess he's trying to climb, flip over and then, yeah, he's coming down. Maybe I have a shot there and, no, fire too late. And now he's free to engage, like you can see here. That would have been my chance to intercept him. Man, nearly all P-51s are now behind them and if they are smart enough they can do a lot of damage to our formation. But I think they don't realize it yet. I will now try to get some altitude back again and stay at the formation and if they are coming in again I can flip over, dive on them and try to match their speed. But wait a minute. 
Oh no, it's only B of 119s. And they are AI. I don't care about them. I think Shaxi is climbing up again. And there we have the next customer. Let's go down and try to get him. Okay, he got shot down by... No, he actually crashed. That's another good way to intercept these M-teams. Just crash. Wait, I may have a shot here. And... I think I got him. Yeah, his engine is smoking, as you can see. At least I damaged him. Ah, I don't think I can catch up with this guy. And my team and I have a lot to do behind me. Well, let's turn around and... Man, they are shredding the formation. They are playing it really good and very strategical. No doubt about that. Shexy above there should be the next to come in. Uh, yes, and my teammate set him on fire. Yeah, I think he's going down. As soon as the ME262 starts burning, they will pretty easily go down. And he still was able to do some shots there. Some spray and pray. I barely missed him, I guess. So spray and pray again. And. Ah. Uh, at least we had hit him. When we have been, or would have been lucky, this shot would have set him on fire, and. Uh, that would be it for this guy. And now, Mr. Carmolo. Oh yeah, that's a good intercepting angle. And shoot! Yes! That was really nice. He's going down. Yeah, he lost control and he's going down. That was very important. He would have been able to do a lot of damage to the remaining B-17s. Kind of lucky, but kind of a good aiming here. And this API are really death lasers. If they hit a ME-262, they easily set them on fire. Another 262 incoming. I think that should be one of the last guys, if not the last guy of the enemy team. I may have a good shot here. It's pulling up and... Ah, that was close. And oh no, no he's free, no he's free, and we only have three left. Oh, come on guys, get him! Come on guys, get him! Oh no! Oh, he's on fire! And can he make it? I think it's out of ammo and. Yeah, of course. And of course, yeah. If you're not doing it by shooting it down, then ram. But, kind of accurate too. At the end of the war, the Germans were so desperate, they started to do ramming maneuvers. And, yeah, the team has lost all of his vehicles and we've won this mission. Congratulations to my good team. It was a very, very hard piece of work. And it was pretty tense at the end. I hope you had fun. And do your best on the battlefield. Bye.